People always kept account of money and things that they have. But very few people kept, kept accounts of how they are or they're progressing or regressing or what is happening. People have taken on this mode. If small things go wrong in their life, they'll find one little person down there and say it's because of him. <clears throat> I'm talking about the husband <laughs> If big things go wrong, it's because of him, the big guy up there. This guy, never in account. The little people are big people. This one, this one acts really big when he has to receive something. But when he has to give something, he really acts very small. People have taken on this mode. This is because there is no clear accounting process <laughs> and no clear-cut balance sheet. This is where I stand in my life. If there was an accounting process, <clears throat> if you… Shall we make an audit? Yes. Little bit of life audit. When you were five years of age, how joyful you were. Today, how joyful you are. The balance sheet, is it profit or loss? That means it's loss. <laughs> I was… Uh, I was speaking to a, a group of people at the Princeton University and I looked around, a whole lot of people sitting with long faces. Particularly in your university, the faces are extra long. <laughs> Maybe it's the weight of knowledge, I don't know. So I looked around, except for three, four faces, which were young faces which were bright, all others. Then I asked them, what's happened to all these people over thirty years of age? Why are they carrying such long faces? One lady stands up and says, they are all married <laughs> This has happened only because there is no day-to-day -day accounting. Every day before you go to bed, if you had a balance sheet going, today, am I a little better human being or am I a little worse? Every day. If you had accounts, once a year, if there was a clear audit, external audit, <laughs> then very quickly you would have recovered. But after twenty-five years, one day you realize, you are deep in the red, now very difficult to recover because it's gone to another place. We're to a point where a whole lot of people have an argument that it is not practical to be joyful in the accounting job. A whole lot of people are actually arguing that it's not practical to be joyful. You? You met a lot of them? Yes or no? People are making a case that it is not practical to be joyful. Is it practical to be in various states of stress and distress and still function properly in the world? If one has to function in variety of atmospheres, in variety of situations, variety of challenges on day-to-day -day basis, one fundamental thing is, this must be a peaceful and joyful being, isn't it? Otherwise, how is it practical that a person under great stress or distress can function effectively in any field or any area of life?